Hi friends, in this session I am going to show the demo of Apache FreeMarker. Apache FreeMarker is a Java based server side template, uh, template engine. It used to generate uh, text based output for HTML pages or email. So it will be having two, uh, two things, one is uh, template, other one is data object. So when we pass this template and data object to the Apache Free Marker, it generates the output. So we can get the more details on uh, Apache Free Marker homepage. So we can search with Apache Free Marker in Google. Uh, this is the homepage of Apache Free Marker. So we can get uh, all the documentation, how to use that, how to create this template, all those things, we can get it from this uh, uh, page. So we'll write the templates using free market template language, that is FTL language. So in this image, if you see, we are, the free marker is taking template and the Java object, which is having the data, and it generates the output. We can use this free marker to generate uh, web-based content for uh, web application as well as non-web application. So now I'm going to show the demo of how to use this free marker for web applications. So I'm going to Eclipse, I'm going to create new uh, project, Java project. So Spring Boot already having the free marker dependency, we can add that in our pom.xml. So I'm going to, to name it as a free marker. So it's a web application, so I'm selecting Spring Web and I'm using the Apache free marker uh, dependency. So I'm going to click finish. If I go to my pom.xml, I will be having these two dependencies. Starter web and starter uh, uh, free marker. So and by default Spring Boot uh, creates a, a main application. This is Spring free marker application. And in the application dot properties, I'm going to add the path where my templates will be and what is my uh, view suffix. So I'm going to add default path is uh, templates class path colon templates, which is already created inside the resource. Here. So I'm going to use the default path spring dot in case if you want to change it to some other path, we can give here. Spring dot free marker dot template. Sorry, spelling mistake. Free marker dot template. So I'm going to use this template load path. See the default path is class path slash template. So I'm using the default path. templates and I'm going to create a file name extension as dot FTL and so I'm going to use suffix spring dot free marker dot suffix Default is FTLH, but I'm using .ftl, so I'm going to give the .ftl. I'm going to save this, and I have created some default templates, so I'm going to copy that. Uh, this is my hello template, so I'm going to copy it to my templates path. If you see inside hello template, I'm using name object, so from the model, I have to pass this name object. Whatever the value I pass dynamically, the template will be changing, the HTML content will be changing. So for that, I'm going to create one uh, controller class. New package API. Class, I'm, making, I'm giving the name as marker controller. So I'm going to use the annotation controller and uh, adding the import statement okay. 
so my view is uh, hello so I'm going to create one get mapping public string uh, hello I'm taking that name attribute from the request param so I'm going to use request param and I need to add this value to the model so I'm passing model object at the rate request mapping request param sorry it's a request param the value is name so it's of type string so string name so I need to add import statement for model so for model I am going to add this attribute add attribute attribute name is name and the value we are passing in the name attribute which is coming from the request param so I am going to return view name which is uh, hello by using suffix it will look for hello.ftl file and it will pass this data object whatever passed in the model so now I am going to start my application sorry I, I forgot to add the get mapping at the rate get mapping so let me restart my server So my server is started, I will go to browser and I will hit this endpoint, localhost 8080, default port is 80 and I am passing name equal to test. So we are getting hello test, If instead of test if I give uh, some apple, it will give me hello apple. So based on whatever the value you are passing, it will be dynamically changing the HTML content. Similarly, I am going to add one more uh, FTL. So this is uh, fruits FTL. Here I am using two objects. One is title, other one is name. So I am going to create one more. One more endpoint. I am going to copy this piece of code. So this time it is, uh, I am using fruit. So model, I, this time I am passing two attributes, one is title, other one is uh, name. So I am going to pass title as, title of this page as fruits name. So I am going to restart my server. So from browser, I am going to pass. So we are getting fruits name and apple. In case if I want to add list of apples, we can use uh, free marker has something called list. We can search here uh, in the documentation. Here if I search, it will be showing the list how to use. So we can use that list and we can iterate the elements similar like this list sequence as item and inside I have to iterate using item. So now I am going to pass list of items. Here I am using names. Uh, I am going to add list of items. So arrays dot as list. I am giving 
apple grape mango you, same way in the FTL we have to change that so we have to use first list hash list and the values are coming in name names as name and inside that I will be iterating the ally and closing the list so I am going to restart my application I'll stop and start I think it started in debug mode so I have restarted my server so let's go and hit the endpoint so the same we got the list of elements whatever we have added in the uh, array list apple grape mango so what we can use uh, any type of conditions or uh, loops everything we can search from the home page and we can use that uh, Thank you friend, uh, in my next session I will show how to use this uh, spring marker in the non-web applications. Uh, please subscribe to my channel.